Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski. Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski. Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski. Piotrowski. Pia, hey. Pia, Pia. My last name, Piotrowski, is not the easiest one in the world for people to remember or even pronounce. So they put together this uh, commercial where people were trying to pronounce my name. And uh, it's pretty funny to hear uh, the different pronunciations and talking about who's that rascal? Hey, what's that rascal name again? Yeah. Ed Piotrowski. I quickly learned after the first year or two that this was a beautiful place to live. I had uh, some of the most incredible friends I've ever had. Ed Piotrowski. Ed Piotrowski. Ed Piotrowski. He's the weatherman. Sound like him. He lives in my neighborhood. Yeah, he's my Facebook friend. And I just can't think of a better place to live than right here in eastern South Carolina. Now we'll go to Spencer, who's in Myrtle Beach. Spence? All right, John, it's uh, weather duet time now. And joining me is the weatherman from our affiliate WPDE in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Ed Piotrowski. Now, I love the cold weather, but even I can only take so much of it. And I can't wait for the warm-up that's coming over the next several days. Yeah, that's for sure, especially on the western side. At this point in time, we have that strong band of rain moving around the Doppler rainfall radar rainfall estimates for the past 24 hours here. And you can see we're not on the air right now simply because this thing went right over the pavilion. It's knocked out a lot of our power. A lot of our computers right now obviously are screaming. We have no data that we can actually pass along, but we know the sumo challenge. Uh-oh, and oh, it's over. It's over. I knew it. I knew it. I was going to beat him, and it was quick and easy. How about that? Ed Piotrowski. Today, I had six cones. It's a new record for me. Here's a look at the current temperatures. <laughs> I'm about to choke on my ice cream. Chocolate-covered bacon. Ooh. I mean, that's two heart attacks waiting to happen yeah. right there. <laughs> Ed actually did scoop the ice cream today, but as you can see, the cones did not seem to make it into the customer's hands. I'm sure you won't bring any back for us, Ed. <laughs> Never do. Uh, thanks a lot. <laughs>